Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Oakland Athletics taking on the Minnesota Twins. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. Our starting pitcher in this one, Pablo Lopez. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So you know, look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. The line of the pitch. Abraham Toro in now. Takes ball one off the plate. First pitch, 7 11. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And there's one away. And time now to check out the A's lineup. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Abraham Toro. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? When you examine Buxton's career trajectory, the thing that really jumps out, the speed and the defense early oh. on. Steps on first for the out. Batting third, the designated hitter, Brent Rooker. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Brent Rooker. There's the strike. And it's quickly nothing in two on uh, the designated hitter. Two down, nobody on. Struck him out looking. And the A's are gone in order. And now the Twins will go to work on offense. We've got no score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back in Minnesota, getting the nod in this one, number 40. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Here's Trevor Larnick. First pitch, and he just misses. Santana gets his lead at first with nobody out. And that one fouled off. Oh. 
swing and a miss and that's strike two. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. Righty delivers. Oh, that that misses play. the zone. The count now two and two. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. And here comes Carlos Correa. Ripped, but it curls foul. Right-hander kicks deals. Rolled to short. Possible two ball to Diaz for one. And that's two. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn. And they're out of this jam. Top of the second. Here's Miguel Andujar. The left fielder, number 22. Miguel Lopez back to work ball and that's inside. off the inside edge and that's ball one one hey. thing with Max Muncy and it'll be interesting to see what he throws here he hammers the fastball Eric Summers Gill our plate umpire one thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summers Gill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Gets a piece and stays alive. And that one is lifted in the air. Kirilov in position. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. And now the right fielder. First pitch misses. Count one and oh. And he's winning a miss. Well, on the mound, you take a note. You see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. And try to climb the ladder. This one popped up. As this one sized up. Nabs it. Two away down. That is good. And here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. And he makes the catch. And that'll do it. A's go quickly and quietly there. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back at target field. Max Kepler at the plate. The right fielder. Max Kepler. The pitch. Gallo finds the corner. That's strike one. one. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. 
So he's down on just three pitches. Watch the first two and then chased after the third. Yeah, not a very good at bat right there, Boo, but that was also some excellent pitching. The 0-0 and 0-1 pitches were both right on the edge of the strike zone, so it's not like he watched two cookies go by. Then a great job of expanding and making him chase the 0-2, knowing he would be in protect mode. Ripped on the ground a second. Fires over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Here's Alex Kirilov. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. And here's the first baseman, Tyler Soderstrom. The right-hander back to work. Inside almost got him. Lopez, 28 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. One thing with Max Muncy, and it'll be interesting to see what he throws here, he hammers the fastball. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Buxton sizing it up. Makes the grab one down. I let Miss Diaz now. One thing with Max Muncy, and it'll be interesting to see what he throws here. He hammers the fastball. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. One down, base is empty. Fouls it back with two strikes. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And there's two down. Next up, it's the first year shortstop. First offering is fouled off. Can't make the grab and it drops. The crowd really making some noise. And it's fouled away. Good eye right there. It's a good take. And yeah, that's outside. Now two and two. Two outs. Lifted in the air, right field. Kepler sizing this one up, and that is that. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Byron Buxton. The line to kick the pitch. That one missed. Ball one, no fight. Foul ball there. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count. Just not able to square it up.
Good job to fight that one off. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first to third and he grabs it in foul ground. Well having such a tough time putting him away six foul balls in a row man what a battle fights that one away still one and two. Seven fouls in a row. Such an impressive at bat we're seeing right here, regardless of how it ends up. That's to third. Whips it to first. He forced a lot of pitches to be thrown and ends up collecting a hit. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Just missed. On the ground to the left. Gathers and throws to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. This is Willie Castro. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Lede right there to make the grab. And that will end the inning. On to the fourth, still scoreless. And we're back. And here is Abraham Toro. Abraham Toro. Lopez back to work. Strike one. Oh one's the count. Next pitch is outside. Right into the plate. And that one fouled off. And another ball. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And now it's filled up. J.J. Blade in the odd deck circle for the A's. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Three balls, two strikes the count. Ground ball up the middle. Correa fires over to first. So he gets a hit after a long battle with the pitcher. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. This is J.J. Blade. Comes the 1. Swing and a tap where the rolls foul. The A's yet to pick up a hit here. Whoa, Next offering down. is down low. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And there's a ball.
hard hit right side. Two quick oh. outs here in the top of the fourth. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Next is the designated hitter, Brent Rooker. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. All tied up, and the crowd on its feet. That one fouled off. And one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Two and two. That's a little bit low. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Miguel Andujar next to bat for the A's. Two out spaces empty. The wind of the pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. And one, two, three go the A's. Still no score. Back in Minnesota, John Chubby and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Carlos Santana. Santana. And the pitch. And ball one. Count one and oh. Hit hard on the ground is short. Whips it across. One out in the bottom of the four. A perfect result for the defense. A line drive out that doesn't score a run, and it takes away the opportunity for that sacrifice fly. You can't ask for much more. That's the outcome they wanted. Larnick in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Pitch is in there, and it's one and one. I got a ball, one strike. One down, base is empty. Ball two. And ball another two. ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Substitution now at first base. And here's the pinch runner, Manuel Margot. One down, runner at first. Here's Carlos Correa. He's 0 for 1. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Lead runner around second. Throw into third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Making a move at first. Coming in as the pinch runner, Royce Lewis. Now batting Max Kepler. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, dude. With a chance to get back into it. And just about everyone standing here in the ballpark. In the air out to center. He's under it. Makes the grab. Runner tags for home. 
A big one scores on the sack fly, and it's 1-0. Well, we finally have a score in this ball game. Sack fly, nice job of manufacturing a run, and that could end up being a big run at this rate. Jose Miranda, the next twin up to hit. Ball one in the dirt, blocked to second, but way too late, safe there. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Runner at second, two down. And they're at the knees. That's strike one. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Pulls that one foul. And the next pitch is way outside. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Twins one and the A's nothing. Now into the game, Royce Lewis. He's in at shortstop. Now the left fielder, Miguel Andujar. He's 0 for 1. Here the right hater back to work. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now it's the right fielder. First time up was a pop out. That's in there. Strike one. Here comes a pitch. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And here it comes. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. A one-run lead, and the rally towels in full effect. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Trades and misses. Struck him out. Some high keys for strike three. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Langoliers in the box, lays off for ball one. On Duhar, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next pitch in for a strike, and a count one and one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. At the belt and fires. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. In the dirt. 
Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Aduhar into scoring position on the wild pitch, and there goes the double play possibility. Well, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. Goes down looking. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation. You've got the tying run out there in scoring position. Just put the ball in play. Maybe something good will happen. It just didn't look like he understood the situation. The Athletics down to their last out. Tyler Soderstrom digs in now. Pitch misses. And that is ball one. So the tying run at second. Nope. And that's a little bit high. And the count is 2-0. Oh. And another ball. Wow, that was a huge at bat to take the lead. No Facing fair. elimination, but he found a way to stay safe for just a little longer. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That one finds the zone, and it's three and one. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Lopez is just one strike away. And a base hit on the line. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score an entire. It's 1 1. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. The A's bring on a pinch runner, Zach Gella. Two outs, runner on first. Aledmis Diaz now. Swing and he popped it up. Makes the play, and it's out number three. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even at one apiece. Major League Baseball is on the show. Now into the ball game on defense, J.D. Davis. He takes over as the new first baseman. And now for the Twins, Alex Kirilov. Fly to left his first time. No left fielder. Alex Kirilov. The pitch. There's a strike up high. And it's 0-1. And the inside corner for a strike. Under it makes the catch. Now one and two. Left hand hitter waits. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Here's the center fielder, Byron Buxton. First time up, he grounded to third. That's in there. And that's strike one.
trying to break this one open and the towels are waving that one, one misses and the count is one and one swings through that well he went inside a couple of times and now outside hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch got him one away And next for Minnesota, Ryan Jeffers. Grabbing out his first job. Runner on the goal. Fought off foul. And a pitch in the air center field on his way over snags it for the second out now back second base so up next Willie Castro 0 for 1 with a fly out to center Strike on the outside. Going one. And that's in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. He just misses there. Man, oh man. I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. On the ground, right side. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. One left for Minnesota. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back at target field, top six. And the batter will be the shortstop, number 12. And a pitch. So oh. now a chance for Marcus Simeon to hit. Yep, Simeon, big power for an infielder. Hey. Right through there for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Hey. Swing and a miss at one above the zone. I think he was a little excited there. Saw the fastball, but he needed a step ladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have a good at bat. The pitch. Three. Strike three. Got him swinging. And that's the first down. Brogy just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Back to the top of the lineup, Abraham Toro. Up next for the A's. And a good eye there. Winning run at third, one down. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And another ball. Well, this is a little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? Got to stay back. Let your hands work. Stay in the middle of the field. J.J. Bladé waiting for a turn at the plate. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Line drive, base hit. Coming home. The relay, and he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. It's two to one. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now, J.J. Bladé. Hey. Strike on the inside corner. 
One run game, one out, one on. Ball one there. Activity in the bullpen. Josh Stamont preparing to come on if needed. Okert warming up as well. And a pitch. Well struck right field. Banks off the wall. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. One away, runners at second and third. And next is the designated hitter, Brent Rooker. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Next offering upstairs. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Two on, one out. And a foul ball. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Had a pretty short start in this one. Didn't even pitch into the third. And they add on. It's 5-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Pablo Lopez departs, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Chris Paddock on the pitch here. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Next up for the A's, Miguel Andujar. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Paddock in his sixth season, 28 years old. And he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2015. One down, base is empty. Ball. And that's in for a strike. Lined, and that's a base hit. Man at first with one gone, and now the right fielder. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases on Duhar. Around second, headed for third. Coming home. He'll score easily, and the lead is up to five. Well done. Drives in the run. Put a really nice balanced swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel real good about that one. And it's second with one away. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Ball, that Just right. missed. Oakland looking to add another here in extra innings. That hey. one finds the zone. And one the count even break. one and one.
Way high. Machado is out. And now three and one. Man at second. Out towards right center field. Settles under it. Corrals it. And there's two down. The first base is number five. J.D. Davis. So a man aboard. Now it's J.D. Davis getting his first plate appearance of the game here in the sixth after subbing it on defense. Gets the outside corner with that one. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Buxton moves under it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. They score five times on five hits. No errors. So we're now into outfield play. Uh, this is kind of one of my favorite parts of the combine. Um, scouts look at this from a variety of different perspectives. They're looking at breaks an angle to the ball. Uh, uh, for above average defensive play. This part of the drill, we're looking at how, how quickly they get to the ball, now, how under control they are, and the strength of their throw. Bottom of the six, and here's the Twins leadoff guy, Carlos Santana. The pitch. That's nope, off the mark. Ball. ball one. Well, these Twins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Oh. Fires over to Davis. One away, bottom of the six. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Entered the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. And a foul ball. Next pitch is downstairs. Action in the pen down there. Sean Newcomb up and loosening in the pen. Otanez, the right-hander, also getting loose. Kicks and deals. Ripped on a line. On Duhar, calls it in, and there's two away. Now batting, shortstop, Royce Lewis. The Twins down to their final out. And now the shortstop, Royce Lewis, taking his first trip to the plate here in the sixth. He entered the game as a pinch runner. Just missed. Two balls, no strikes to count. He hasn't wanted to challenge him both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. And the righty deals. Up and three. in, three and zero. Oh. And there's a rocket into the outfield, and that's going to get into the corner. Runner scores from second as they get one back. It's six-two, and that's a two-out double. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. So here's the cleanup hitter, Max Kepler. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Next pitch misses way outside. The Twins down to their final strike. Wouldn't chase that time.
battling here as he fouls it away. Man on second, two down. Right side, hard hit. On to first, ball game. Most players focus on hitting or pitching, and some pitchers are extremely situational. But two-way players, just a different breed, man. It's so impressive to see what they do. And your final, 6-2, to two, Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.